linear systems. So here is a problem. What must be C if the system has no solution? Well, if a system has no solution, it means that the two lines are parallel and they have different y-intercepts. Right, that is important. So we are looking for parallel lines with different y-intercept. If the y-intercept is not different, it is same, then they are going to intersect at all the points and we'll have infinite solutions, right? So to solve such a problem, we need to write both in slope intercept form and then it is very easy to figure out what the value of C must be, right? So let's try to do that. So here, if I write in slope intercept form, then I'll take x on this side and I have to basically isolate y, correct? So let's try to isolate y here. So we get, let's say minus 2y equals to minus x plus 10, right? Now if I divide by minus 2, I get y equals to minus x over minus 2 plus 10 divided by minus 2, which gives me half x plus, and this will give me minus 5. So that is what I get. Now here, if I try to isolate y, I get 3y equals to minus cx plus 10. And if I divide by 3, I get y equals to minus c over 3 x plus 10 over 3. Clearly, by comparing these two equations, we have different y-intercept, right? Now, we need same slope. Same slope means that this minus c over 3 should be equal to half. The coefficient of x in both the equations should be same, right? Now, if we equate that, then we can get the value of c. So, for this system to have no solution, minus c over 3 should be equal to half, right? Or c, which implies that c should be equal to, we can multiply this by minus 3, correct? Minus 3 over 2. So for a value of c equals to minus 3 over 2, we will have same slope of these two equations and different y-intercepts and therefore the two lines will be parallel and distinct with no point of intersection or in other words no solution correct therefore that is the solution c equals to minus 3 over 2 fine thank you